sleep well, think well, and do well. Within corporates, we don't often talk about this, but there is a domino effect. If you sleep well, you will think well, and you will do well. Research is showing that firstly, we don't even realize that we're living and operating in a sleep deprived fashion. Secondly, the average working person is getting one to two hours less sleep a night than they need, and their cognitive functionality is the same as about 0.08% alcohol in their bloodstream. So are you and your colleagues arriving cognitively drunk at the workplace? That's not all. We do live in an era where 60 is the new 50, and we're all terrified of this aging process. A sleep deprivation study with healthy 30-year-olds where they were consciously sleep deprived for six days, they slept about four hours a night, showed that parts of their body chemistry operated like someone double their age. So at 30, they were operating like a 60-year-old. Another study that I really found fascinating is with students giving a series of maths problems. They were prepped on how to solve them, but also told that there could be shortcuts to these maths problems. So in fact, that was the objective of the research. Group one were made to go away for 12 hours and come back, and 20% of them found those shortcuts. Group two were made to sleep eight of their 12 hours that they went away, and that figure tripled to 60% of those students finding the shortcuts. We all know the phrase, sleep on it. We want our brains to work smarter. We need to get adequate sleep. And we should be thinking about this in high-performing teams. At the Resilient Energy Center, we equip corporate athletes to weather the headwinds of business with a number of techniques. So you may not be getting enough sleep, but that certainly would age you faster, make you fat, and uh, make you less clever. So let's look at all of the enablers for you as a corporate athlete to think well, to be well, and to do well.